Baby, a song you make me wanna roll my windows down and cruise. today about my freshman year of high school because um I just finished up with that my last day was yesterday and I just kind of wanted to talk about my whole experience of my first year of high school and I'm back I always say that but um no it's like my first um week of summer right now and I have a lot more time now on my hands because school is finally out and so I'm definitely planning on making a lot of videos this summer and also i know this quality is really bad it's because it's just on the camera on my macbook but it's just because it's just like a vlog yeah honestly like i think the freshman year was probably the hardest year of my life like not not academically like honestly academically it was so darn easy like the first semester i had a little bit of trouble with my grades and it was not because it was like difficult for me it was because I was transitioning with and I had a lot going on and like a lot of new changes in my life and stuff and it was just hard because I went to a completely different school because I lived with my mom and dad like a half and a half since I was two when I got a divorce but this year a lot of changes have happened and last year around summertime I moved in full time with my dad and so I'm at this new school and I've already been to a lot of schools, like, guys, I've been to, like, six different schools, so I know a lot of people. Both my mom, like, my mom used to move a lot and stuff, but my dad has always been in the same house. So that's always been nice to have some stability, you know, but it's been hard because I've been going back and forth between parent to parent for, since I was two, so, like, since I can remember. And then finally, I'm done with that, and then I'm all seeing my mom and stuff, and there's just a lot with that I don't want to really get into details with that especially in this video maybe some other time in a different video but yeah so I'm not with my mom anymore and I had to leave all my friends behind I made a lot of good friends um this summer going into ninth grade like from other schools like not from this school and the school I actually went to that elementary school for a few years when I was little before um, my mom moved for the first time and so I knew some kids, but I was pretty much the new girl. Like, I did not know anyone. And the school's pretty small anyway. So that was hard academically, like, to adjust and stuff. And just a lot. Like, it was already high school, which is a big change. And then let's factor in not being with my mom anymore, just my dad. And it's, like, all the changes that, you know, freshmen and just high schoolers in general are going through. You're just changing so much. And it's just difficult. And there's... I had so much drama with my friends this year. The first day of school, I was so nervous. Like, honestly, I got lost so much. And, like, I had to ask probably, like, six or seven people for directions, which is pretty sad considering the fact that my school is actually pretty small. Like, there is probably, like, in the high school, there's probably, like, 800 kids or something. It's pretty small school. And so it's kind of sad that I got lost. It's I don't even know if it's 800. I think it actually might be like 600 something. Uh, I don't know. But like it's kind of sad that I got lost. But I was nervous little freshy. And then I hated it at first. I honestly, I was like, no. I want to move back to the school, that the high school that I was originally supposed to go to. Where like all my good friends were at that I had like made over the summer and stuff. Because like I've been to like four elementary schools. So I don't know. I've just made so many miscellaneous friends. But, um, yeah, so it, I was really mad. I was like, no, for like the first month or so. And like within the first month though, like I finally adjusted and made some really good friends, but there was already some drama with that. And then I didn't make like the good, good friends that have stuck with me through like the rest of the year until um, about December, November or so. And it was just like so much was going on. Okay, so, like, I had this thing with this boy in, like, November, November, like, October, November, December, and then <laughs> I was really upset because he liked me. I liked him, and this is kind of weird to be talking about on YouTube, but um, just in case somehow people in my school, like, see this, that would be kind of embarrassing because I'm talking about this, but um, whatever. Oh, so, like, I don't know. We hung out, and that was good, I guess, and then, like, 
people found out that he liked me, that I liked him, and it would not stop teasing us for, like, till probably, like, February. So, like, we were getting a lot of stuff since we hung out in, like, November. Like, honestly, this kid, okay, so he's he kept talking to me. I kept talking to him. He was kind of acting a little funny, really embarrassed because his friends kept making fun of him. And then, apparently, he tells all his buddies that I'm so clingy and annoying and, like, obsessed with him, which was which was not true at all. And, um, <laughs> so that kind of ended, and I, I was really pissed off because I was like, okay, that's cool. Just spread things around that aren't true to look cool for your friends because they're making fun of you. And, I don't know, I've just had so much drama with friends this year. And this year, you really, like, you don't find yourself, but you definitely find out a lot about yourself and the people around you and, like, the changes you're going through. It's terrible. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to make anyone, like, scared if they're going into the ninth grade or something. But it kind of sucks. Like, you just, you learn so much, though. But it's just hard because everyone is, like, trying to find their, like, little clique, you know? And so, um... And just, like, who they want to be with their groups and stuff. Like, my school is not that cookie, but it kind of is. And it was just hard because, like, everyone's, like, going from friend to friend. And um, a lot of these kids have known each other since elementary school. I mean, like, I've known a lot of them, actually, since elementary school. But, like, like young elementary school. But, like, honestly, like, everyone's just changing so much and trying to find their um, group and who they want to be with and what they want to do. And so it's pretty hard like, when you consider all that stuff, and plus all the changes that they're going through anyway, so it was just hard, like, I fought with friends and had so many stupid fights, and, I mean, there were low points and stuff, and just things got bad, and then things got great, and, like, it was just, like, a roller coaster, kind of, um, I'm just so happy it's over with, like, honestly, like, I know I still have three more years of high school, but I'm so happy to be done, honestly, but, okay, so academically, like I said, it was not that hard. Like, it was pretty easy. Okay, so the classes that I took were English, Earth Science, Algebra, uh, Spanish 1, PE. But um, honestly, such easy classes. Like, freshman year, I feel like it's kind of lucky that um, the academics aren't that hard because this year, like, I know it counts towards college, but I'm so happy because, I mean, it's not that bad. It's more like just getting the hang of things. Because there are so many things you're going through through freshman year that it's, like, if you had, like, a big workload, like, that would suck. I mean, like, I know I could have taken more high placement classes, which I am next year for 10th grade, which, I don't know. It's going to be a lot harder next year because I know for 10th and 11th grade, that's the year that universities count um, your grades for scholarships for college and stuff. So I'm kind of nervous a little bit. But honestly, I'm just so happy I made it through. And you just really do learn a lot about yourself and your friends and just life in freshman year. Like, I noticed all my teachers kind of taught us a lot about life. Like, honestly, I just think this year has actually been really, it's been really interesting. Like, I've learned a lot and I know it's great and all. I just thought that there was just so much going on, though. <laughs> that kind of sucked. But at the same time, again, I'm just so happy to be done. And... I don't know. I'm excited for next year for a whole new schedule. And so I'm going to meet even like new cool different people. I've met a lot of people this year. Yeah, guys. So that's kind of my freshman year. I don't know. My grades like got better second semester. I have like almost all A's now. And like my grades weren't that bad last semester. It just wasn't like as good as I, I could be. Like honestly, like I did not have to study very much this year at all. But second semester was a lot easier for me because like I was more in the hang of things and it was just like a breeze. Like honestly, like I'm really happy that I got the hang of everything. And I feel more prepared for next year and like what's ahead of me and stuff. So again, like it's not that fun, but at the same time it's worth it because like you learn so much and it helps you prepare for the rest of high school and honestly like it just really helps you as a person like it's just something you have to deal with it's honestly worth it though like I know I'm saying how much I hate it but it, it really is worth it and it helps you a lot to the experiences and change and growth that you go through ninth grade so that's pretty much my freshman year experiences um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah I mean 
I made some really good friends this year, and I made some really fake bad friends this year. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! I can't carry the